I am going to explain in this video, um, or in this series of videos, so what a frobenioid is. So these are uh, so these are constructions that are going to appear in um, Machizuki's interuniversal Teichmuller theory. Uh, so this is comes from a series of two papers, uh, Geometry of Frobenioids one and two, and I think the the year was two thousand and eight. Um, at least that's the that's the year that's listed on Machizuki's webpage. And I'm not sure if these are published anywhere. So maybe someone can tell me in the comments. Um, okay, so. The see so the basic idea is that these will be in um, abstraction of um, divisors on uh, on schemes. I mean, um, so like they're, they're going to kind of look like divisor class groups. Um, in order to tell you what this is, I need to get to these things called model for benioids, which will be in a later video. Um, so let me just let me just start um, to just lay things down. Okay, so uh, so definition. Uh, let D be a category. Uh, let capital Phi from D to, uh, uh, D to the category of monoids here. So we're going to think of monoids as additive things. Uh, and so this is going to be a contravariant functor. Okay. And so we, we think of it as, uh, as uh, there being kind of like pullback maps. Okay, so you have a morphism in this thing. And so uh, what I'm going to define now is an elementary Frobenioid. So an elementary Frobenioid is a category uh, F sub phi where the objects are just going to be objects of this category D, this base category, and the morphisms, so we call that the base category sometimes. And the morphisms are going to be complicated. So um, we're so let's do it like this. They're going to be the morphisms are going to be triples. So we'll take two three objects, S T R, because I'm going to have to show you how they compose. Um, and so they're going to be triples here, F uh, let's call this alpha n, um, g beta m. Okay, and um, so what are they going to consist of? Uh, so this is going to be, uh, so f, I'll just tell you what the first one. Uh, so this is going to be a morphism from s to t. So again, I'm using this, um, like the category for the working mathematicians notation where I, I denote the category here, and this is the HOM set from S to T. So that's just a, a morphism in the base category. Alpha is going to be an, an element of the monoid uh, corresponding to the, the domain, and N is going to just be a natural number. Okay, so sometimes this is called the, the base morphism. This is sometimes called the divisor associated to this morphism, and then this is called the degree. Okay, so again, I, I'm going to repeat this, but uh, yeah, so this is the, the base morphism. Uh, so this is the divisor, and this is the degree. So this is a terminology. Okay, so let me show you how to compose them. They're just kind of this weird semi-direct product. So uh, G beta M composed with F alpha N. Okay, and so what you do is... Well, you just compose the maps, okay, and then the other end, you're just going to multiply the numbers, but, and, and then this is the weird one. So there's kind of this semi-direct product thing going on. You pull this back, M alpha, M, N. Okay, so that's, that's, uh, this is the, this is the basic definition of what an elementary for BDOID is. Um, so some of the ideas, so the ideas, the things that you should keep in mind 
um, is that uh, D is is it should be thought of. If, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have it be like a category of coverings. So of some, let's say, uh, scheme. Okay, uh, so. Or you could think of this as, as finite extensions uh, of, of a field. So and those will be a tall covers of, of spec of K. Um, okay, and then the, the idea is, is that phi is this monoid of divisors. And I'm going to... Um, I'll show you when we get to model for benioids, but I'm just going to state this again, and I'm going to state it again. And um, so here, uh, so Machizuki wants these to be like like uh, Galois categories. Uh, and let me just say that uh, uh, let me say what a Galois category is. Um, so. Let me get a little definition. Uh, a Galois category, a category that C is Galois uh, if um, every endomorphism is an automorphism. So in the case of covering, covering, so if you you should think of things like deck transformations, you know, where, you know, you have some some cover of some fixed guy here, and then these things are going to be permuted, okay, by covering transformations. Um, okay, so let let's let's give the so we we define what these elementary Fermionoids are. I said something about what D should be. Um, Let's give the baby most example. Okay, so if D is a point, so it's just a single an, a category with one object. And uh, so again, I, I, maybe I should remind you guys that, that monoids can also be viewed as categories with one object, and that's it. So they just have composition. Um, Okay, but I guess we're going to be working with commutative monoids, and, and we're, mostly we're going to be viewing them as additive, but I just wanted to remind you of that. And then phi is going to be uh, here, m, so this is just going to be uh, a constant monoid. Then um, this f phi is equal to f m, and this is this is just this, this dude where uh, you have these multiplications like this, b m, and then you do A plus N, B, N, M. Okay, so the objects are, are, are the morphisms. So, okay, so this, so if I, if I make this monoid here with, uh, with this rule, um, so now I'm writing it as a multiplicative monoid, then, uh, th then here, this is like, okay, so this is a category with one object. This is a cat with one object. And then uh, let's call that object, uh, to distinguish it, we'll call it star. And then the endomorphisms of star are uh, these guys. And then you compose them like this. Okay? So another way to do it is the elementary Frobenioid is just this kind of like semi-direct product thing. So um, maybe you can write it as M uh, semi-direct product with N here. Okay? Um, so let me just say something. The standard for Benioid, uh is the for when uh, is FM for M being the non-negative integers under addition. Okay. Okay, so this is what we call the standard for Benioid. Okay, so... Um, let me now, now kind of say what, uh, uh, a Frobenioid is. So definition. 
Okay, so let uh, f v uh, be an elementary Frobenioid. Okay, a Frobenioid is a category. A uh, let's say uh, let's say it's a pair. So. I'm not exactly sure, let me, be, let me be honest, if I should be doing this as a pair or not as a pair. Where, um, so X is a category, and F from X to F phi is a functor. Okay. Um, so like this is a like kind of like a, a category so this is kind of like a category with dangly bits okay and these are the dangly bits here this functor um and so it'll turn out okay so so let me just make a remark here um uh, so this is a Frobenioid. so this is my abbreviation for Frobenioid. Um, so let me make some remarks. Um, first, um, uh, technically, what I've given you, uh, this is a uh, this is a, a pre-Frobenioid. According to Machizuki, so there's some rigidity. Uh, so it needs some rigidity. Um, and so, uh, okay, but, but the main examples that we're going to work out, um, are going to be these, these model for Benioids, and these are the only ones that we're going to need for applications. Um, so a, okay, and so, so then let me just say this, um, so we have these things, we have these for Benioids, so a morphism of for Benioids, Uh, so again, we should note something about this too, that this is a two category. Okay. So it's a category of categories. And so one of the things we're going to be concerned about will be just, um, uh, uh, just, okay. So, oh, oh, is a functor. Yeah, let me just say this. The morphism for being is a functor. Okay, and so now you're you're gonna have these categories, and categories have functors between them, but then you have natural transformations between categories. So one of the things that will become important will be equivalences of Frobenioids. Um, okay, and so uh, notice that I didn't. We're just gonna have a functor from this category X. Okay, and then we're gonna forget about this. And so what's gonna happen is that uh, the we 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 will be able to forget about. to forget about F uh, via rigidity theorems. Okay, so to, okay, so before, now I'm, I'm gonna stop and then I'm going to uh, do some stuff on monoids and then I'm going to come back to this and uh, say what um, what the model for Benioids are. So what what these model for Benioids are and what the main examples are. Okay. Thank you for watching.